Good morning Gold Coast, it's Cam, and this morning I've made my way to Mudgery Bar, which back in the 1860s was a little township, and nowadays is practically in the heart of suburbia. And if you're ever along this way, you should check out some of the restaurants, the cafes, even this guy and his dog. Although I can't imagine trying to pose like that for a picture back in the old times. They say never work with kids, boats or animals. Perfect example, it's pulling his trousers. Remember it's a Facebook show, so like, comment and share. Do it as much as you like. Lots and lots of karma points if you do more. But right now, let's check out today's news. And a robber has been caught red-handed, robbing from Red Rooster. I guess it had to be red. But now we need your help to actually catch him and send him to jail. Have I got the footage? Yes, here it is. You got a feel for the 16 year old girl at the counter, but 10 points to her for actually staying calm during an armed robbery. Cause check this out, he wants money, she gets her manager, he pulls out a, whoa, that's a decent sized knife. Uh, so, whew, these girls handled the situation so well. But as for that numbnut, if you recognize him, call Crime Stoppers, 1-800-333-000. Because if he's doing that sort of stuff, we gotta get him off the streets. As you probably know, our Mayor Tom Tate is in Chengdu in southwestern China right now. And he took the opportunity to check out the model of this $10 billion city that they're building. Here's what he had to say. This is revolutionary. It's gonna be world famous. It's got its own ski park. Tens of billions of dollars are being created here. And I look forward that uh, we can build a closer relationship with Chengdu Wanda City and City of the Gold Coast. The Mayor reckons this shows just how critical it is for us to keep renewing our attractions and theme parks so we can stay ahead of the pack. He's going to be pushing for developers here to consider building an indoor ski park in the future as a new attraction here on the Gold Coast. And the nightmare before Christmas is less than two months away. Yeah, schoolies. But despite the terror it inspires in most of us, Crime Stoppers needs our help. They need 350 volunteers to help out with things like street and beach patrols, walk home services, and also just as a safe person to keep an eye on these kids when they're going a little bit crazy. It's a very important role and they'll appreciate any time you can give. So just follow the link in this post for more details. Time to check out what you can do around town today, but first, meet Janelle. Good morning, Gold Coast. What are you doing out this morning, Janelle? Meeting my husband after he's been cycling up Springbrook with some friends. He cycled up to Springbrook? Well, pathway up. Oh, right. Yeah. How yeah. far is that? I'm not really sure, yeah. but it's a lot of hills. Yeah, right. <laughs> so he's quite fit. Yes, yeah, the whole group is very fit. From six years ago, they went to France, followed the Tour de France. Rode behind the Tour de France? Yeah, they rode the Tour de France come in the afternoon, they take their route and camp themselves on the side of the hill where the tour was going past and then start again the next day. Goodness me, they must be fit. Yeah. So. But you're the support team. Yes. And the coffee team. <laughs> and the coffee team. <laughs> and you also work in the area? I actually work as a receptionist with Bell Pace Physiotherapy. Is there a common injury you see? No, they're all varied. <laughs> well, delightful to meet you. Thank you, Cam. Lovely to meet you as well. <laughs> if your kids ever wanted to try ice hockey, today's their last chance to try it for free because from five until 6 p.m. Iceland in Bundle has a come and try session. Free skate hire, free helmet hire, free lesson. And it's not often you get a free thing without a catch. So snap it up when you get the chance. Oh, free coffee. You'll need to book it fast though because spots are limited. So follow the link in this post. Or you could always skip over the border to Tweed Heads and relive the excitement of the 80s with an indoor skating rink. Yes, the ice skating was indoors as well, but this one doesn't have blades on your feet, it's wheels instead. A little bit safer when there's kids involved. <laughs> okay, too graphic for breakfast TV. Can we, can we just cut that part? No, not cut the fingers, cut the part. Forget it. The skating session is free and it's a <laughs> The skating session is free and it's at the Tweed City Centre's court. 10 a.m. until 3 p.m. until next Friday. Just follow the link in this post. <laughs> oh dear. And tickets are limited for this one, so you better get them quick for the 2016 Big Blue Sky event. It's next Friday and Saturday at the Sofitel down in Broad Beach. And it's about bringing together the best and brightest thinkers to brainstorm ideas that'll push the Gold Coast into the future. Financial innovation, how we can become a world sports centre of excellence, and even how things like education should look in this post-industrial age. Big ideas and early bird tickets close this Friday. So like everything else, follow the link in this post. And while you're there, just click on that little like button, would you? Let's check out the weather today. You might not believe it the way the clouds are hanging around at the moment, but it's going to be a sunny day here on the Gold Coast with a top of 25 and getting down to 14. And if you're planning to watch the sun go down, that's happening at 5.45. That is the show for today. All the people who liked and commented on yesterday's one, your name is coming up right there from the bottom. Rise. If you shared it and your name's not up there, it's probably because you've got your settings set to private. That's okay. You know who you are. You're still amazing. And remember, you can comment too, and I'll read it out on the show. For instance, Dean Shelton said, Hi Cam, how long will you be doing this show for? It's the best. It's better and more hilarious than the Today Show. So it's not as good as Sunrise. What? <laughs> Are you saying ABC Breakfast is better than this? I don't know. Look, Dean, I'll be doing it as long as I can, unless I die in some horrific accident. Like somewhere here where there's a guy holding a big blade behind me. He didn't, he didn't move, did he? You guys have a fantastic Tuesday. I will see you tomorrow.